we really would be remiss if we, if we didn't show you the original statue of Kamehameha, which is right behind me. And I say original because we all know that there are four, four statues, one at uh, Statuary Hall in Washington, D.C., one in Honolulu, one in Hilo, and one here in Kohala. But of the four statues, this is the original commissioned by King Kalakaua in 1878. And then uh, he commissioned Thomas Gould, a sculptor from Boston, who sculpted the original in Florence, Italy. It was cast in a foundry in Paris and then put on a ship in Bremen, Germany, and was coming to Hawaii via the Falkland Islands. No, never mind the noise in the background. We're right next to the highway. But um, when the ship was in Port Stanley at the Falkland Islands, the, it caught on fire and all the cargo sank, including this original statue. And so the insurance policy kicked in and then the, they created a duplicate. And just when the duplicate was almost ready for completion, this statue was salvaged by a sea captain who saw it in a junkyard when somebody raised it from the depths of the ocean and had it sitting in his junkyard. He bought it for like $500 and brought it to the state legislature who bought it. The only damage was the forearm and the spear. The rest of it was pretty intact. So they fixed it up and then the question, where should the statue go? Because now they had two, one duplicate and the original repaired. And of course, everybody said the original should go to his country in Kohala. And so it was brought here. And in 1883, King Kalakaua dedicated this statue. Its original location was at the only government building in Kohala at that time. It was the schoolhouse, government schoolhouse, about half a mile east of here. Uh, at Aina Kea. And then in 1912, it was moved to the site of the courthouse, which is in the background, the courthouse, the government building, and it's been here ever since. Now, the people of Kohala chose many years ago to get rid of the guild, the gold guild, original gold guild, and rather than that, to replace it with the royal colors, the yellow and the red. And here we see the sash, a very rare ornament called the Ke'e, Ke'e o uh, uh, Liloa, uh, and, uh, and we see his brilliant, you know, royal regalia, the Ahuula, feather cape, and his Mahiole. But uh, this is the original statue, and it is the only one painted with uh, red and yellow colors, and the people of Kohala are very, very proud of this statue, and this is where they um, celebrate the uh, Kamehameha Day on June 11th. So now, before it gets any wetter, let's see if we can get on a four-wheel drive to Kaholo Point and Kapanaya.